It's BBC Radio Jersey. It's me, Carrie, with you. Now, today on Topical Talk, we've been discussing busking. Deputy Monfort Tadier is requesting to amend the guidelines for busking in Jersey, including the requirement that all monies raised from busking during the month of December be given to charity. Tadier is also proposing that we allow buskers to use amplifiers for their music. Well, our next guest, Gavin Tate, is from a band called The Gargars. He's a musician who now lives in the UK, but the whole story began here in Jersey, and he joins me uh, down the line now. Hi, Gavin. Gavin? Hi, Sammy. You all right? Yeah, how's it going? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. All good. Yeah. Good. So, first of all, um, I, I I know you're in a band. I know you're living in the UK now, uh, but I've definitely seen you busking here in Jersey. So, how have you found that? Yeah, I used to love doing it. I used to love um, playing in the, in the different spots up King Street, um, just playing all the classics, you know, like Stone Roses and the Lars and the Beatles and things like that. And I just love the vibe of, you know, like, Families and young children loved it, you know, and that's that's why that's why I did it and to make a bit of money as well, you know. Mm. I'd quite often see you by M and S. I think was that your was that your preferred yeah, I spot? Love that spot? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you can you can always get the sun there, you know. Ah, oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Um, is it nerve wracking when you first go out? I mean, I know you're, you know, you're like me. You now you're getting sort of long in the tooth. But back in the day, when you're very young and you're just starting to play, is it is it a nerve wracking thing to do? I think it was when I first started doing the open mics because that's where it, where it began, you know. But after playing in bands for years, it, you know, it's just natural now. Yeah. And do you busk when you're elsewhere, you know, like when you're in the UK or maybe you're in France or whatever? Do you yeah, do you, do you take to I've the streets? in London this week. I've been, um, I do it in, in my girl's city, uh, Grenoble in the south of France. Um, and, and it's just to, you know, just for little things like living expenses, you know, uh, food, uh, you know, food, and, and take my, you know, take my girl for a meal and stuff. You know, nice. Uh, uh, you know, as well as, and then I'm working in between and things like that as well. What sort of um, response do you get in London? First of all, I mean, is it? Do people stop? Do people throw cash in? Is it? Is it getting more difficult? Or yeah, pe- no. Pe- I, I I find that there's more of a crowd. People crowd a bit more in England. You know, when you play in London and places like that. Um, I think if in Jersey, it's mainly people are quite rushing to, you know, get to each, each shop and things. But I think in London, people sort of crowd down. So you get things like, you know, you have like 20 people watching you at a time and things, you know. Um, I think things like that would happen more in Jersey if, you know, there was less restrictions. Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. I hadn't thought about that. And it's very rare in Jersey that you would actually see a, a group of people standing around a musician and taking in a whole song, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is, I mean, in Jersey, it'd be at a time it would be say like a, a, a little family, so it'd be a mum and dad and a few kids, which is great. But it'd be great to have like you know like thirty people watching at once in King Street. I mean, I've seen it with things like more like the orchestras, you know, like yeah, and uh, choirs and stuff. Brass stuff. But it'd be good to have that for just you know like single guitarists or two piece two piece guitars, think you know violinists or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's always good having a toddler dancing around to the Stone Roses, though, isn't it? Yeah, they love it. They, <laughs> they love do it. love you know, it. Like, whenever, you're, whenever I'm playing guitar, all the kids just, you know, straight away, they're like, yeah. You know, like, and they've, they've got their own little moves as well, and it's, it's just fun to see, you know. Yeah, lovely. And you said you sometimes busk when you're down in France, it was near where your girlfriend is from. What, what's it like down there? Same sort of attitudes or different attitudes? Uh, it's, it's quite a wealthy place, you know. I, I, like in the sense, Jersey, but people... Because I'm English, and they don't know the songs, you know, because it's very French culture, mm. and they, they they don't take to it as well, you know, like, they're more for, like, accordions on the trams and things, but, I mean, they're still the odd people, you know, like, a lot of the chefs in the restaurants come out and, and tell me to play things like Prince, Purple Rain, and, you know, things like that, and it's just like, you know, that's great. But it'd be, I, I think it'd be better if, I don't know, there's, still, there's quite a metal scene in Grenoble, Okay. Uh, you know, like a lot of the, the people that come past are like, play Metallica, you know, in, in a French, in a French accent. It's like, I don't know any Metallica's on the way, but it, it's, you know, there's still people that take it and there's, and there's people that don't quite grasp it. Maybe people um, are kind of misguided in your look. They just kind of see slightly punky and, and assume yeah, that it's going to translate music. translate yeah. to, to Metallica. Well, I mean, the, you brought on Metallica. I mean, you said you don't play them, but it does remind me of the, the issue of amplification. Having an amp in town, would that help your playing, do you think? Where do you, where do you mean in, in Jersey? Well, yeah, because Montfortadier is saying, you know, we, we, we should, musicians should be able to have an amp if they want. 
yeah, I think, I think it, it would definitely help. I think it would definitely help matters for street entertainment in Jersey. Um, Do you think it would, I, I said it in the, I don't know, I done a piece in the JEP the other day, the other day, the other week, and then, and uh, I, I, I specified that I said it. You know, I think it would be a lot better for, for, you know, shoppers and families in general if if there was that thing, you know, where you could have it a little bit louder in the street, and it would probably, you know, bring, you know, more crowds, which is uh, I think really needs to happen. You know, yeah. Just to make it more vibrant, you know. It would open up the repertoire as well, I'm sure. Yeah. Definitely, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I've always supported Monty, and I think what he's doing is brilliant. And you know, especially in things, you know, like in the state assembly, a, a lot of his views are, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, and I think it's people like him that will make good change for the island. Okay, Gavin, thank you so much for getting involved and being a good sport. Thanks very much, Kate. All right, Please. take it easy, and you. Thank you all the best. Bye. -bye. Bye. Gavin Tate there, um, a musician who hails from Jersey, is now living in the UK, telling us about his opinion on Deputy Taddeo's proposals to amend the guidelines around busking.